Ladies and gentlemen, have you seen my butt? Ah, I love this shirt. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have some super exciting Poke packages coming straight from the Pokemon company. As you can see, we got a massive haul of mail, but not only did we get these three Mambo Jambos, we also got two more Mambo Jambos in the back that we're gonna open up in a future video. You'll find out soon enough. But without further ado, let's get into it. Spidey knife. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, this boy is stocked. Hold up. Oh my god. Would they send the whole freaking store? Yo. This is the fattest freaking box of Pokemon Center stuff I have ever seen. Don't panic. Don't panic. Whatever you do, do not panic. She's panicking. Dude, I don't even know where to start. Pokemon always just goes crazy during Halloween. For some reason, I don't know what it is. They got so many good Pokemon that fit the Halloween theme. Oh my God, hold on. <laughs> this is too much. I know I have like the goofiest smile on my face right now, but this is genuinely such an exciting moment for me. Day, I say. How do I look? I don't even know what to say. This is a, a Hatchrim hat. Dude, you know what? Today's video is gonna be a Pokemon fashion show. I didn't think it was gonna be this. I thought it was gonna be an unboxing, but no. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Litwick. <laughs> you see my little candle? Probably got my little candle. Oh. This one is fun because it not only is a hat, but it also could double as a nice little trick-or-treat bag. Dude, this one is dope because you can totally choose your fighter. You got this form of Morpeko, or this form of Morpeko. The, the chin strap, I have to admit, feels a little unnecessary. I don't think this has fallen off your head. Catch me at the next Poke Rager, y'all. It's a good day for a good day, is all I gotta say. Let us continue. Also, I would like to note, because I got five packages in the mail, we're not opening all of them in today's video. Big Kahuna here on the bottom, uh, the really long one, is gonna get its own designated video because I know what's in there. I'm super freaking excited to share it with you. I wanna take a whole video and go over it, but then we also have some brand new Pokemon products, the TCG products back there, which will also be in a separate video because I'm gonna, I'm, you know, like I'm gonna do the card opening thing you are all familiar with. So, just if you're wondering, I need to spread it out because otherwise this video would be like five hours long. <laughs> Which, you know, like, I wouldn't mind. I could just spend five hours geeking out, but let's just take it easy now. Oh, my freaking God, dude. Are you kidding me? We have migrated into the Pokemon clothing section. I just got a brand new spooky wardrobe, everyone. Oh, God. Oh, God. They're slippery. They're slipping. Oh, God. Oh, no. Don't panic. Whatever you do, don't panic. I'm panicking. Whew. These are actually actually the coolest freaking Halloween clothes. Oh, but you could wear these all year round, to be honest. Oh, we've got homie Espeon and homie Umbreon, which is my favorite evolution, as you guys know, on these beautiful t-shirts. Oh, she is about to be stunning. Should I put one of these on? The answer is yes, BRB. Oh, kill him. We also got this Umbreon one in a zip up hoodie, which is sick. Look at this. What a subtle, subtle flex. It's a Gengar embroidered onto this shirt. Don't mind me, remember the Gengar. Gang, gang, gang. We've also got this spooky boy, full print, very intimidating, scares away any enemy. I wouldn't want to mess with me if I was wearing this. You know, I have to say like the legit shirt quality on all these is really high. I'm not even sure what kind of shirt this is. You know how when you like, order a shirt from somewhere and you feel that it's like the cheapest possible material. Like this one is like the, the premium shirt option. I'm not sure, it just feels really nice. Pokemon is a premium brand. 
Anyway, little Pikachu right here, scared out of his mind. Probably saw some of the entries in Brock's journal. I don't know. But we got that one in a couple colors as well. I think I prefer the purple on purple as opposed to the navy blue on purple. Well, the navy blue with a little bit of purple. We also have <laughs> a cute little Poke plushes. <laughs> oh, look at Yamper all dressed up. Oh, he's so handsome. What is this a Galarian Zigzagoon outfit or what is what is he wearing? I think his Halloween costume is Galarian Zigzagoon. If that's the case, you are freaking adorable, you handsome little Zigzagoon. Dude, this guy is such a little loaf. Look at him. I love, okay, I love animals with long bodies and short little legs. It's the ideal species right here. Nice little long nugget. <laughs> I love that. We have a wild assortment of Pokemon keychains in these cute little plushy form. Look at this. Look at all, what is happening? I don't know. We got Trap Edge here looking all adorable. We also have these three Galarian starters. Now last year Pokemon did this and they had the Kanto starters. So this time we got the fan favorite Galar boys from Sword and Shield. So we have a Score Bunny dressed up as cute little Nicket. I love it. We have a Sobble as Drifblim right here, Drifloon. Flying away. And then we have Grookey as little Tox. I think that's Toxel. Is this Toxel? These are so freaking goofy. I love them. They're part of the Pokemon Pumpkin Party, the Triple P, but I absolutely freaking love that. Now, we have polished off the big old box. I put some of our extra shirts in there just because I now have a, a wide array of Pokemon clothing. But we still gotta see what's in this other box and hope that it's not damaged after what I just did. It feels like it's more plush toys, so let's just see. <laughs> oh, when does it stop? What is this? This is fun, hold on. We can have a good time cosplaying with our Pokemon here. This is the Pokemon Pumpkin Party Pikachu plush, the quadruple P gang. Look at his little suspenders. Pikachu and I are on the VIP list for this Pokemon pumpkin party. So you know they're just gonna roll out the red carpet for us. Insane. I feel like, dude, this also kind of reminds me of like Toadette in a weird way. I never saw this one coming. Spooky Morpeko. This is one of the coolest Pokemon plushes I think I've ever seen. It's freaking Gengar Morpeko. I can't take myself seriously in this hat. It's like Count Dracula mixed with Morpeko, mixed with Gengar. He is absolutely ready to do big spooky. The very last item of the day goes to this glorious, glorious Hoimsicott. What are you cosplaying as? Perhaps Galarian Weezing? I think it's Galarian Weezing. He's got the little, little smokestack hat with little poisony boys on it, but she also got little candies stuck to her. I absolutely love the Halloween Pokemon plushes because it's always like the coolest little crossover between two Pokemon that you weren't expecting, like a Galarian Weezing Whimsicott. Who asked for this? I don't know, but I'm glad it exists. This one is also super freaking soft on her little like cotton hairdo or whatever this is. I love it. All right, all right. Now that I am bombarded with new clothing, new plush toy, new keychain. <laughs> I think it's time that we get on out of here. Guys, let me know what your favorite Pokemon item from today's video was. I'm really, really curious because there's a lot, a lot of Halloween stuff. I didn't realize they had this much Halloween stuff on their website. So let me know what you guys' favorite thing was. I think I'm gonna have to give it to either one of these super dope shirts or this bad boy right here, the more Pico Gengar collab. This plush toy is insane. I am delightfully surprised by those hats. That was hilarious, but I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say about these in the comments below. Thank you once again to Pokemon for hooking it up with all this stuff, guys. Stay tuned for at least two more videos. It will be more than two videos, but two more videos in the near future, one of them on that big kahuna right there. And then another video on these two medium sized kahunas back there. Also guys, stay tuned for some of our live streams. We stream four times a week now. So feel free to check out our live stream schedule in the description down below. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for kicking it with me on this fine, fine day. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.